you said earlier, there's no number one in, in any position. At the end of last season, you said you don't have the squad yet to compete on multiple fronts. And do you now feel you, you have that squad depth to compete on more than one front this season? That I don't. I said I don't have the squad. I think at the end of last season, you said you don't have the squad depth to compete on every front. Do you feel you now have that squad depth? I doubt that I said that. Uh, well, you know. Is that can we improve the score of death? Yes, but to say that we cannot compete, I don't think I say that. Okay, but I mean, in, in terms of the squad, are you, you kind of confident? You're I think we have improved this, the depth of the squad and we have improved as well the possible starting 11 lineups. I think both of them, and it's really important, they give us a much better ability to compete, especially with the competition that we have to play this season. And just, just a quick one on, on the market. You, you talk about buying top tier players and, and doing it your way. Um, with the fees, obviously including the fee you, you pay for Declan, how hard is it now to find value in the transfer market? Is it harder than ever? Yeah. I think so, but we don't know. You know, we use historically as well the teams that they have spent big amounts of money for big players and, and the amortization of those players and then how they are reselling those players after three or four years. The numbers are not bad at all. But obviously the market can change in any moment. You know, if you ask that question when we went hitting after a year, a COVID period, it was a big issue. Uh, so we don't know because you see <laughs> not only here, but in other parts of the world as well, the dynamics of the transfers and, and how this is evolving. And probably nobody expected that six, 12 months ago. And just finally, you said it's too late now to change the schedule for the next 36 months. What, what's, what's the key to potentially changing it beyond that? Do you think the players hold the key? Are they the ones that are going to have an influence on whether it gets a bit lighter? I don't know really what they can do, you know, because uh, yeah, they have their obligations as well to to, to fulfill the, the, the commitment that they have with the clubs or, or the needs that they have. Sometimes it's more morally to the national team, so it's about better communication. I think it's, it's, it's just one piece is not going to resolve the, the problem. I think it has to be all the pieces together and, and put a very different plan for the future. Okay, thank, thank you, you. Ron. Thank you.